in-depth investigative. This is KXAN News at Noon. Well, early voting starts across Texas today for the March 5th primary. The polls open at 7 this morning. Here are some of the key races that we're watching for Democrats. Nine candidates are vying for the party's nomination in the race for U.S. Senate. Congressman Colin Allred and State Senator Roland Gutierrez are the top two candidates trying to unseat Republican U.S. Senator Ted Cruz. In Travis County, voters will decide on the Democratic candidate for the county's next district attorney. Incumbent Jose Garza faces Jeremy Silestine, a defense attorney and former prosecutor in the DA's office. And the race for Hayes County Sheriff is wide open. Current Sheriff Gary Cutler is not running for re-election. Daniel Law and Alex Villalobos are vying for the Democratic nomination for Hayes County Sheriff. As for the Republican primary, Anthony Hippolito, a member of the Hayes County Sheriff's Office and former member of the Austin Police Department, is running unopposed. And joining us today is Diana Limon Mercado, Travis County Clerk. Uh, thank you for being with us today. Thank you all for having me. What are some of the changes that we can expect to see at the polls this year? Yeah, voters should expect a really normal process. I know there was some talk earlier this year about changes that were potentially going to be made to the primary. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the Democratic primary Democratic Party and the Republican Party were able to come to an agreement to keep the voting process as normal as possible. On the back end, the ballot counting procedures for the Republican Party for ballot by mail will be different in that they will be hand counted. But that is only for ballot by mail and that is only on the back end of the counting part of the process, the voter experience will be normal for all voters, whether in person or by mail. Okay. okay. No big and then, surprises, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then speaking of the voter experience, today is the first day. And so what have you all been seeing at the various locations? We had a reporter out in South Austin, but what have you been seeing around around town? Yeah, I had an opportunity to stop into a couple poll sites this morning and thank our election workers, make sure all the sites were opened on time, oh, yeah, that yeah. we had plenty yeah. of um, yeah. supplies and equipment and parking spaces. Everything was running as normal this morning. We had a couple of calls into our call center around some confusion around the differences in the ballots. Mm. So whether you pick the Republican Party or the Democratic Party, your ballot will be different. The Democratic Party does not have propositions on the ballot and the Republican Party does have propositions and on the presidential race they also have an uncommitted option in their list of candidates. So those differences are decided by the state parties and so if voters have concerns about what their parties are or aren't including on the ballot they should contact their state party. That's good information to know. Let's talk about staffing. We were talking with our reporter Blake mm -hmm. Devine who's out there at one of the polling locations and he was saying that things were moving pretty smoothly where he was. Uh, is that because staffing is, is where it needs to be? Yeah, staffing is back to normal. I know during the pandemic, staffing, election day staffing and early voting staffing was a little bit tough. We had a lot of concerns about people's safety when they were conducting elections as election workers. But our election worker levels have returned to normal. People are very excited to participate as election workers during early voting and on election day. So we are fully staffed. We have a couple of last placements that we're recruiting for right now. And we're also working on recruiting for the other elections happening this year. So if folks are interested in being election workers, they can visit votetravis.com for information on how to become an election worker. And then any special preparations for March 5th or leading up to then? Yeah. Um, no special preparations. Okay. Our team is well versed in running and producing a big election. So equipment has been um, tested, mm -hmm. certified, the ballots have been proofed and programmed. Um, both parties actually approve the programming and the testing of the equipment and the ballots to make sure everything's normal. The equipment is prepared and then is already being deployed for um, election day, actually. Yeah. Election integrity is a big topic right mm -hmm. now. Any additional protocols in place for that? Yeah. Um, so all of our election procedures follow federal and state law and I could I forgot to bring y'all we have a big book of election laws so we're complying with dozens or hundreds of laws given um, at any given time depending on what part of the process we're involved with on top of that um, ballots are um, followed under live streaming depending on where they are in the process but if we have live ballots as they're being transported um, they're under live stream and we also have law enforcement on site as well and so we have a lot of redundancies in place to make sure that all ballots are counted everything is protected we're following all the law this morning we had a visitor from the secretary of state's office mm -hmm. that came into our office and just checked on procedures um, and so everything is all good in travis county we follow all the laws we have secretary of state involved our county attorney involved 
um, as well as both parties making sure that we're complying with all of the requirements of the primary election. Okay, a lot of layers of security. Yes. Diana, thank you so much for Thanks being so with much. us. It was a lot of information, so if you have any questions, just visit our website at kxan.com.